just see the size of these soldiers, absolutely incredible. With soldiers, workers, even a specialized garbage crew, leafcutter ants maintain a complex society. They have uh, formed massive colonies composed of potentially as many as uh, five to 10 million workers, and they can defoliate a mature eucalyptus tree overnight. There are mandibles, they're serrated like a steak knife uh, to make the cutting more efficient. These ants may be the planet's first farmers. They don't eat these leaves. They use them to grow a fungus garden that becomes both their food and living space. Here you can actually see a really nice patch of chewed up leaf material that is going to be uh, eventually integrated in the fungus garden. There's a third player in this symbiotic city, bacteria on the ants' bodies that keep harmful microbes from damaging the fungus. She has this whitish coating on her body that is the antibiotic producing bacteria. With support from the National Science Foundation, bacteriologist Cameron Curry studies these ant communities to help create better drugs for humans. And these bacteria are related to the bacteria that humans get antibiotics from. We're discovering drugs from this system. These ants are not only farmers and pharmacists, they may help humans create cleaner energy. Leafcutter ants have been living on a cellulose diet for millions of years. Tim Donahue wants to know more about how the ants break down plant cellulose. That process could help create renewable biofuels from trees and other plants for our cars and trucks. So they're a, a prime ecosystem that can be unraveled and tapped and learned from. Up here is what, where we have the uh, foraging chamber. This is where we put in fresh leaf material. A public display of leaf cutters is a hit on the University of Wisconsin campus. So is the ant camp. You can actually see some leaf material here. And um, these here are the big fungal masses that are being cultivated. There's a lot we can learn from this tireless workforce. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.